Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. In this video we're going to talk about your aim, how to improve your aim, the science behind aiming and all that good stuff. We will talk about it all. So this video consists of two parts. The first part will be about your eye-hand coordination, how to get better, why are some people bad and yeah, it's basically all about the science. And in the second part I will talk about how can you actually improve your aim. I will show you my warm-up schedule. I will show you how I practice my aim and all that uh, fantastic stuff. So uh, yeah, let's get started. First of all, your eye-hand coordination. I'm pretty sure all of you heard about it. Um, I actually did a lot of research on it. Uh, I'm in college, university, and uh, I followed some courses about this. Especially in sports, it's super in important in sports. And uh, basically CSGO is sports, right? So, uh, you know, it should work in our field as well. So, first of all, I will show you um, what is happening in CSGO when you're aiming. So, let's pretend we don't know where the opponents are. Um, we have no clue, so we are just walking up mid here from short. And all of a sudden, we see an opponent. So, what happens is my eye, uh, my eye send a signal to my brain my brain sees the opponent and you know says yes we have to make a calculation and we have to kill this guy so it will calculate the distance between my aim and the opponent and it will send a signal to my hand to move my hand a certain amount of um, you know amount to the left to get him into my aim so i will get the signal to my hand move my hand to the left uh, my eyes will see that uh, the opponent is uh, in my aim right now uh, my brain uh, sees this, of course, and he sends a signal to my hand to press fire and shoot the guy in the face. So that's basically all that happens. Um, short, we see him, we see the distance, uh, we calculate the distance, and the signal is sent to my hand to kill the guy. That's basically it. A couple of examples on uh, eye-hand coordination is drawing. Everyone, when he was young, um, he learned to draw. Some people can draw really good stuff you sometimes don't even know if it's real or fake uh, you know real or a uh, drawing and some people can't draw a stick figure for life i mean yeah it took me a while to learn how to draw and some people are just you know they they got the hang of it a lot quicker because their eye hand coordination was better at that time another prime example is baseball uh, let's pretend a picture throws a ball at you um, your brain sees this, he has to calculate the speed of the ball, the distance, uh, how is the ball going towards us, uh, how did the picture uh, throw the ball. All of that is uh, you know, going into one big calculation inside of my brain. Then my brain sends a signal to my arm and uh, it tells my uh, arm to swing uh, with my bat at the ball and hopefully I do hit it or I don't hit it, whatever. But that's basically eye-hand coordination. So some people are good at this and some people are not good at this. Um, but everyone can be average at everything. There is a, uh, I did read a book about this. And even if you think you're the dumbest guy in the world, you can be decent or at least average at everything. So um, if you can draw right now, if you practice long enough, hard enough, and you practice the right way, you will be able to draw decently you won't make the most beautiful paintings in the world whatever but you will be able to make a freaking stick figure uh, the same goes for csgo uh, if you really s think um, after years of playing my aim i can't improve it you just didn't work on it the right way right there is a way to be average at the game um, is this always the case no, not always the case. For example, if you want to be good at football, you need two legs. If you don't have two legs, your brain, your muscle memory, your eye-hand coordination can be perfect. But without two uh, legs, you're not going to be a great football player. Same goes for CSGO. Um, if you have bad eyesight and it's really... Um, you know it's really bad and for example you can see distance very well and you can see um, um, you know uh, where the opponents are right away and all that uh, important stuff you won't ever be able to be extremely good at CSGO because uh, you know you can make the calculations in your brain um, you know you what you can do is get glasses or get lenses or you know go to a doctor and see what he can do about this 
So uh, another really important thing about uh, aiming is your muscle memory. So basically what happens in whatever you do in life, um, you create a node inside of your brain. That's basically the easiest way to uh, explain it. So uh, let's say I see this guy on the left and uh, my brain says, okay, move to the left to my hand and it does. And then I, it's in my aim and I have to press fire. This node, this action, this entire action is saved in my brain in on one node. So the next time this happens, my brain only has to get the node and then execute it. It sounds slower, but it's way faster for your brain. Um, prime examples are for example um, you see a lot of pro gamers do this they have the sick plays right they have the uh, you know the two on ones where they are you know they are super quick and they shoot the guy f uh, that's in their back super quickly why is that because the muscle memory is trained uh, a prime example is if you don't have a good muscle memory or you didn't practice enough just yet let's say there is a guy here on a spot and there's a guy at the car so what happens if you didn't practice enough is you see the guy, right? You shoot him in the face here. Then the guy on car is starting to shoot you. You hear him. So first of all, you have to recognize, oh, where's the sound coming from, right? Oh, it's from the back. So you move and then, you know, your hand has to move uh, to the back. So your brain has to send that message as well. It moves to the back. And, you know, you're, you're not sure where you're really going to land because your brain is not trained at this yet. Um, you know, the guys at car, so we are still way off. Now uh, your brain has to make a new calculation. Um, okay, where is the opponent? What's the distance? And he has to send a signal to your hand yet again. So we move the car and then finally we can press fire. But you're going to be dead by that, right? So what happens with people that have a good muscle memory that did practice enough uh, they see the guy on um, you know on spot they kill him and then they hear the shooting from behind and then their brain is just executing okay where's the sound coming from oh it's car because they have this memory they have this note so they just have to execute the note um, you know they move a certain amount um, they move their hands a certain amount they're going to be aimed and you know they're not always going to be perfect on their heads but uh, you know the distance is a lot s smaller to um, the first example that I showed you where the guy had to uh, you know he was here and he had to move all the way to the left and sometimes you know when you are really really good at CSGO and your muscle memory is perfect it's going to be it's going to look like this boom headshot and the guy is dead so that's basically how pro gamers do it and uh, that's basically the science behind aiming. So really short, eye-hand coordination. Um, you have to improve this. How can you improve this? By training your muscle memory, by training your brain to making all of these notes. And uh, yeah, I will show you how you guys can actually create these notes for yourself. So um, the first lesson is practice. The more hours you put into CSGO, the better you will get. That's uh, the basic rule. But you have to practice the right way. And uh, what is the right way, um, you, you're you asking me? Um, the right way is, of course, by every time when you aim, you have to be spot on, right? So uh, whatever distance the guy is, whatever speed he's moving at, if he's jumping, if he's whatever. You know, an another uh, important uh, static is sound. So uh, maybe we cannot see the guy, but we can hear the guy. So your brain will use that information as well to make a uh, educated guess. But all of this, um, you know, you have to practice the right way. And what I see a lot is people, we will use the bots that are not moving. What I see a lot is this kind of shit. So uh, I will slow it down. Um, they will aim at the, this guy. This is our target. They will move to the right. But they're off. I will move a bit closer. So um, this is of course extreme. But they will aim at the guy here. But they are over aiming. So it's too far. Or they are not far enough. Or they are up. Some people, um, you know, they, I they actually move their aim uh, up or down. It's, it's really interesting to see. But that, that's just because their 
um, muscle memory is not good enough and their eye-hand coordination is not good enough. So what happens a lot is people start to just spray. And uh, when they are with a pistol, they do shit like this. So they are just guessing, right? They are just guessing and hopefully they will get a headshot, uh, which sometimes happens and sometimes won't. And it's basically about luck and not so much about skill or they start spraying like crazy so they do shit like this right blah 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 and that's really not what you want to be happening uh what you want to be happening is okay i see the guy uh, boom i aim at him and shoot that's really what you uh, want and uh you know i will tell you guys now how you can uh, achieve this so um i will first talk about a great training schedule or great uh, training method that I use is I go into a Counter-Strike Deathmatch server and what I do is I get a uh, pistol and I never spray. I only aim and fire. And in the beginning it's going to feel really painful because you know you're not going to be accurate just yet and it's going to feel awkward and you, you know your brain is basically saying oh this is not this is not good. Um, this is I don't I don't feel safe this way because a lot of people when they are just spraying they feel safe. Their brain is saying yeah you're doing the right thing, but you're basically not, and you want to change this kind of thinking. So what you really want is you get into a CSDM. Let's pretend this is a CSDM. We see a guy here, and we want to be aiming. And in the beginning it's going to feel really awkward. Like we have a really hard time to aim, right? So it's going to be. Uh, aim so hard it's so hard but at some point you will be boom right boom i'm not even super accurate but i'm accurate enough see that's what you want to be aiming at and um you can even practice this in competitive matches just don't spray always aim 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 of course uh spraying is sometimes good in uh, certain scenarios but we want to get to a point where uh, we don't always spray and a lot of people always spray so that's not what you want to be happening um, I have a warm-up schedule and uh, this is uh, how I practice my co uh, eye-hand coordination and for every sport goes you have to warm up right uh, football players warm up chess players do they warm up yeah I'm pretty sure they play a couple of games before they go into a tournament and um, you know every in every sport you have to warm up. Same goes for CS CSGO. You can't just walk into a map, a uh, competitive game, and uh, shoot everyone off his socks, right? You will have a certain skill, of course. You won't be terrible if you are a pro gamer. You won't be terrible, but uh, a little bit of warm up helps. And uh, what is my warm up schedule? So first of all, I get into a game and I need two to three minutes basically and I see corners I take corners and what I do is I aim at the corners and I just follow them and I move to the right I move to the left I move forward I move backwards but I stay aimed at the corner and in the beginning uh, it's going to look something like this and you know you're over aiming and it feels so awkward but at some point you're going to be more like this so you're always going to be in the middle and uh, you can make it harder for yourself so Okay, we're going to this corner now and then we take this corner and then we take this corner and this corner another great um, warm-up thing you can you can always do this that's the great part about this even during rounds you can do this is um, you see this corner and this corner and you aim in between them and on um, maybe this video it will look extremely <laughs> stupid but uh, this is really good as well so let's take a double or let's take doors here on long so we aim in between them, we get closer, so the distance changes as well. And then we get really close and the distance is really big. So, but you have to make sure you stay, you go from left to right, right? I will slow it down. So left, right, and now the distance gets bigger, left, right, you know, and then you move to the left, the next one. And you do this all the time and you, it doesn't really matter what you do, but just take an imaginary, like, corners. And just aim in between them so you can even go in between here or in between these two or in between the bomb and this wall or you can take teammates as well that's actually a great example as well so you take these teammates and you just aim in between them it's, it's really good especially when they move because it makes your brain make more notes and that's what we want we want the freaking notes another great um thing i like to do is uh you can do this in between rounds is I aim at my teammates 
so I'm just like this right and there are of course four more teammates so you go like this in between them and you randomize it right you go from this guy to this guy and the next uh, time you go from this guy to this guy and then to this guy and then to this guy whatever randomize it make it awkward but make sure you're super accurate right so in the beginning it's going to look super hard and believe me guys um, it's going to be hard for you uh, but you have to tell yourself boom I want to improve my aiming and I really want to get better at all of this so I'm really just going to aim accurately and that's really what we want and that's what we are going to work towards another great uh, practice thing is a maps they are great but what I see I go to um, a maps and what do I see the most I see people spraying I see people guessing so what I see a lot is um, did he drop? Yeah, he dropped a gun. So what I see is, I see shit like this. Um, people are just guessing. So, um, someone pops up from the left, so that's basically this kind of shit. So boom, we're guessing. But no, you want to be accurate. You want to be... Yeah, I'm not kidding the guy, but <laughs> you get what I'm saying. You want to be accurate. You want to be accurate. How did I only kill 75% of the enemy team? That's very interesting. But that's really what you want to be doing. You want to be... You want to tell your brain go, must go, be go. like this. Boom, I see a guy. Boom, middle of his head. Right? Boom. That's really what you want. You don't want this. No, you want. You don't want this. You want this. That's what you want. And hopefully, guys, um, you did learn something from this video. Um, this is what I tell everyone that I coach. And I'm not going to like be all cool and all that. But everyone that that I did coach so far did improve their aim and they use they are using my ways and they all tell me that they're actually working so um, if you are lost and you don't know how to improve your aim just you know do this follow my methods follow my ways and maybe Google what you can do as well is Google eye hand coordination uh, practices or um, you know things on how to improve your eye hand coordinations whatever go google that and that will help you a lot as well you can also take in life in real life things for example go outside throw a ball you know ask your friend your girlfriend your mother your dad to throw a ball at you that's also a way to improve your eye hand coordination so do i have to say anything else no i hope you guys did enjoy this um, if you have any questions please leave it in the comment section if you like it please leave a like and i'll see you guys later Bye-bye.